The appearance of new engines on the B-200 amphibious aircraft after 2022 has been repeatedly announced. With the long-awaited domestic PD-8 engines be flight tests aboard serial passenger superjet SJ-100 aircraft in the spring of 2025, plans for further use of the PD-8 have resurfaced. Now for the B-200. The bereaved B-200 amphibious aircraft occupies a unique but somewhat exclusive niche in the global aviation market. Since its inception, the B-200 has maintained a modest volume of production, with 20 units manufactured from the first prototypes in 1998 to the present. This limited production underscores the aircraft's specialized function and the obstacles faced in broadening its use, both domestically and internationally. The B-200's origins can be traced back to the B-42 Albatross, also known as the A-40. This large and sophisticated amphibian was used for maritime patrol and anti-submarine operations during the Soviet era. The A-40 was an impressive aircraft, capable of transporting up to 6.5 tons of weapons and having a maximum takeoff weight of 90 tons. It was a technological marvel of its era, specifically designed for global naval missions. The project's premature termination was the result of geopolitical changes in the late 1980s and early 1990s, particularly the evolving priorities of the Gorbachev-Yeltsin era. The aircraft's future was not secured, and even attempts to market it to foreign navies, such as the British, were unsuccessful. Only three prototypes were built. The A-40 was powered by the D-30 KPV engines, which were manufactured in Perm, Russia. Bereev developed the B-200 Altair in the 1990s as an attempt to adapt this legacy by creating a smaller, civilian-oriented amphibian. The B-200 is an excellent choice for firefighting, as it can transport up to 5 tons of cargo or 12 cubic meters of water and has a maximum takeoff weight of 42-43 tons. One of its most unique features is its capacity to extract water directly from lakes or rivers while in motion, which facilitates a swift response to wildfires. Despite these innovations, the decision to equip the B-200 with Ukrainian-made D-436 TP engines from the Motor Sitch facility introduced long-term complications. Despite reports that the Russian UMPO plant in Ufa had mastered the production of these engines, there is no convincing evidence that a significant number were actually produced domestically. However, the engine supply was not the only major challenge for the B-200 program. The aircraft's production history is characterized by logistical and organizational challenges. The product was initially manufactured in Irkutsk, but production was subsequently relocated to Taganrog in 2008, resulting in additional delays and potential confusion. The B-200's initial objectives were ambitious. To establish a fleet of at least 10 aircraft for the Russian Ministry of Emergency Situations, Emercom, export the aircraft overseas and provide a search and rescue version to the Russian Navy. These objectives have only been partially accomplished by 2025. Remercom retains a fleet of at least six B-200 CHS aircraft in constant readiness, while the Russian Navy received three units. A 2021 firefighting mission in Turkey resulted in the loss of one of these units. The exact number of stored or serviceable units at the Taganrog plant is unknown, but at least two additional aircraft are still operational. Azerbaijan received one aircraft in 2008 and Algeria received two B-200ES variants in 2023 and 2024, with a total order of four placed in 2021. Export initiatives have yielded modest results. The English-language cockpit and accommodations, developed in partnership with a European company, set the Algerian version apart. The issue of engine replacement has become more pressing since 2022, as the reliance on Ukrainian engines has become impossible due to geopolitical tensions. The Russian aviation industry has responded by creating the PD-8, a modern turbofan engine that is domestically manufactured and designed to replace foreign engines on various aircraft, such as the B-200 and the Superjet 100. In the spring of 2025, the PD-8 commenced flight tests on the serially produced Superjet SJ-100, which was a significant milestone. Nevertheless, the B-200's integration of the PD-8 is not an effortless task. 
it would necessitate a significant amount of redesign, extensive testing, and complete certification, a process that will undoubtedly require several years. The PD-8 won't be added to the B-200 until the Superjet engine is certified. In the meantime, the current engines of the existing B-200 fleet are still operational, and it is feasible that one or two additional aircraft could be built in the original configuration. The aircraft's continued service is guaranteed in the near future. However, the possibility of a B-200 powered by a PD-8 is still on the horizon rather than an imminent reality. The project is both realistic and promising. However, it will necessitate a clear commitment from both aircraft and engine manufacturers, as well as perseverance and sustained effort. Now, do you think Russia will be able to test PD-8 on the amphibian anytime in the near future? Let us know in the comments. Feel free to like, subscribe, and share our videos. Also, we invite you to join our membership 